a man who uh, just returned from the Philippines. He made stops in Tokyo and Detroit before returning here to TF Green Airport, and he wore a mask. He's one of many passengers concerned over swine flu. Arriving at TF Green, Eric Mahala brought three things with him. His bags, a mask, and concern over swine flu. They were laughing at us in the airport. They were like, oh, they're like, you guys, you guys, what are you afraid of, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm, I'm afraid of getting sick, you know? I don't want to be sick. I want to go home to my family. The 28-year-old returning to Rhode Island after a trip to the Philippines. He was given this mask by authorities there with orders not to take it off until he got home. This morning, they told us all to wear our masks because there could be infected or uh, swine through people coming in through the, through the country. For other people in the airport, not even on his flight, a sense of concern. I think it made um, more of the passengers a little more nervous, actually, uh, when they saw the mask. I know I was. So I wondered, does he have the virus or is he protecting himself against it? Travel agents say most are keeping their plans. This agent has only rescheduled one couple set to honeymoon in Mexico. They have actually rebooked for the beginning of June, so they're only looking at maybe a month, month and a half down the road. But Mahala, who needed to get home now, says he'd rather be safe than sorry. I take this very seriously. Well, officials say the swine flu doesn't live outside of the human body for long. And if you're traveling, wash your hands often and cough into your arm. We're live in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.